So I just wanted to do a little video on the overclocking potential of the RTX 5080. A lot of people are reporting that their card OCs pretty well, more than you would usually expect to see on a more modern GPU, and I can confirm that. The card that I have is a Zotac, is the Zotac Solid version of the 5080. I picked it up at Micro Center after sitting in line for like 15, 18 hours, something insane like that. Um, I should note that the temps on here that you may see are not 100% accurate to what this overclock will produce. The case I have is a height Y60 that only supports, supports vertical GPUs, and the Zotac card is really thick, so it really is pushed right up against the glass. I did... Uh, mess around with my case fans and it's better but it's still i think this card would be running a lot cooler if it was not in this case in this configuration uh the temps aren't affecting the overclock anyway though the clock is really stable so with that noted here is msi afterburner and as you can see uh we are at plus 415 uh the maximum power limit that will actually let you, let you do and I did actually find out today that because GDDR7 works a bit differently than 6X, there isn't actually much of a point to pushing this much past the four or 500 mark. So uh, it doesn't really make a difference if you go from 400 to 900 because it, it'll just self-correct itself from my understanding. So the 3D mark results are this. It is about a 10% increase on the GPU. And fun little fact about this result, it is actually good enough to put me in the top, I think it's like I'm 14th in the world right now in terms of graphic score on a 5080 on Time Spy, non-extreme. I just thought that was cool. I, obviously it won't last, but you know, I just thought that was cool. And next up is Cyberpunk with some weird settings, but it's just what I've played at, so I, I don't know, I just benchmarked it like that. It was 1440p DLSS quality with the new Transformer model, all settings max with path tracing on, and I saw about 75 FPS without the overclock and 83 FPS with the overclock. So that is roughly, you know, 9, 10%. Uh, uplift I do believe this really is the performance that this card should have had when it launched right now as it stands it is very 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 close with this overclock to a 4090 and in fact I was looking at some of uh, the 3d mark results for 5080s and 4090s and this graphics score that I have at about 36,000 puts it at right about faster than 40% of the 4090s that have run this benchmark on 3D Mark. So that's pretty good. I mean, I would consider that 4090 performance. So now it doesn't seem so bad. You know, the card's cheaper than the 4090 when it came out. It has a little less VRAM, uh, but you know, it can get to that 4090 performance. So I'm pretty happy about that. That's it. There's your PSA. If you have a 5080, if you plan on getting a 5080 in the future, make sure to overclock it. It is definitely worth it.